Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Coaster Child YouTube Channel Donksterborn, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a brand new theme park newsroom update. Where today we're going to be looking at the latest information surrounding Alton Towers Christmas 2020. Now, this event is going ahead uh, with the COVID 19 restrictions in place. And we're going to be discussing all about the latest information. We're going to share with you all the official details from this Blue Loop article about the Christmas event. I'm going to link the Alton Towers website in the description down below, the main Alton Towers website. So you can look on there, find out for yourself where the event is on the website and book your tickets early if you wanted to. And I'm also going to share my thoughts on this event because uh, I've got a lot of very interesting opinions about this. Uh, so before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers, we've passed the 1,900 mark which is absolutely brilliant so from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. But of course you guys know what that means if we're getting close to another milestone, five, well we've got 500, nearly 500 off from the last milestone. That means another Q&A video, so keep getting your questions, use the hashtag question before or after your question, never said that before in a while, and uh, I'll save all those questions ready for the 2000 subscriber Q&A video. I'm also going to put uh, a community post on Instagram, uh, on probably on Instagram and the community page of the channel just to you know keep the questions flowing in for the Q&A, uh, for the 2k subscriber Q&A. And uh, for now, guys, let's get straight into it and talk about what's been revealed about Alton Towers Christmas 2020 from this Blue Loop article that I'm going to read off right about now. So the latest from this Blue Loop article states that Alton Towers have revealed that Christmas is returning to the Alton Towers Resort with two new enchanting experiences in the gardens this year, beginning in November. Visitors will get the chance to enjoy family rides and attractions, meet Father Christmas, take part in Santa's sleepover and visit Santa's Woodland Grotto. Now on selected dates throughout November and December, guests can enjoy an overnight stay as part of Santa's sleepover in one of the resort's hotels or lodges. Each stay will include a festive evening meal as well as a visit to Santa's Woodland Grotto where each child will receive a special gift and souvenir photo from Father Christmas himself. New additions this year include Garden Lights Walk, Twinkling Stars, and Garden Lantern Trail, which are both outdoor attractions in light of COVID-19. Now, the Garden Lights Walk takes families on an illuminated trip through the resort's gardens, while Garden Lantern Trail offers a magical journey down a secret path to the fantastical corners of the gardens. In addition, Alton Towers will host live seasonal entertainment on Fountain Square and they're offering festive breaks from December 27th to January 3rd, 2021, which includes a selection of rising attractions, illuminated gardens and entry to Alton Towers Water Park. So there we go guys, that is looking at the latest information about Christmas 2020, this new Garden Lights walk, uh, this illuminated walk, and then you've got the Garden Lantern Trail, uh, which is the secret path in the corners of the gardens, uh, both outdoors, both at respectable distance because of COVID-19 restrictions. And, um, you know what, fair play to Alton Towers. I mean, you know, Alton Towers over the last couple of years, last few years, they do this kind of Santa sleepover thing. Uh, and I know in past years they've put sort of the, some of the children's rides and attractions like the Mutiny Bay rides, the CBB's Land rides, Spinball Wizard I think as well. Um, you know, they'll put them on offer to hotel guests during the Santa sleepover break. Um... There wasn't any mention of Rise and Attractions being open during the West festive break, which to one extent I can agree with because of course with COVID and everything you want to keep make sure everything's deep cleaned, secured, uh, ready for the main season to start again in March, which hopefully will start on time this year, uh, next year. Um, but uh, on the other hand, I wonder if there is gonna, they are going to announce some more new details in sort of further down the line. Uh, before we get into that a whole event starting at the, at the end of November. And um, 
you know, I wonder whether they are going to announce Rising Attractions in the near future about this event. So, I do wonder what's going to happen. I do wonder how they're going to structure the announcement. If they are going to announce more details, including if they're going to open any of the children's rides, like the Mutiny Bay rides, the CBB Line attractions, uh, Spinball Wizard, you know, any of those attractions. Obviously, if they were going to do Rising Attractions offering, obviously no water rides will be open because it's festive season. Uh, no thrill coasters will be open, no thrill rides open, so we'll literally, you know, Spinball Wizards is probably the most thrilling they could go, but I think otherwise it would be just the Mutiny Bay rides, excluding Wicker Man, and uh, the CBB's Land rides as well, so it's very much a kid uh, ride lineup, and of course you've got the water park, you've got the hotels open as well. Uh, now, whether the Enchanted Treetop Quest, which is the uh, sort of go ape type walk attraction, skywalk attraction, uh, as part of the Enchanted Village, whether that's going to be open as well, I'm, I'm not too sure. There's nothing revealed about that yet. Uh, so hopefully we do get more details about the rides offerings uh, for the winter season. But I won't be surprised if there wasn't any, to be honest. And again, same with Treetop Quest. I do wonder uh, whether they won't announce that to be open during the winter break because of COVID and everything. Even though it is an outdoor attraction. So it should be interesting to see if we're going to hear more details about this. But I think the two garden walks are very, very nice indeed. And I like how they're still doing the, the sleepover breaks in the hotels as well. Uh, so, of course, this starts at the end of November. All the details will be on Alton Towers' website. Like I said, the Alton Towers' website will be linked in the description down below. So, make sure you go check that out for yourselves. And uh, for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update on Alton Towers Christmas 2020. Make sure you go and check out the first video today, which is the Coast Child Review from the Battle Galleons at Alton Towers. Two Alton Towers videos today. Um... <laughs> Uh, make sure you go and check that out. Uh, that will be, um, you know, on the on the channel already. So make sure you go check that video out right now after we finish watching this little bit, of course. And uh, we do have another update coming today from Legoland Windsor, as well as pre-recording some more videos uh, for the rest of this week. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video for more. And for now, guys, I am Aaron Chalner from Coast to Chalner YouTube channel. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. Keep subscribing. We're nearly at 2K.